the juvenile. And they're off. A knees was off. A beat slowly. Chief Seattle breaks well from his rail post. Captain Steve is there. There goes Forrest Camp and personal first. Millen Collin up with the leaders as they race for the first turn. And it's Forrest Camp three wide into the turn. Personal first driving hard to get to that early lead. It's personal first in front. And now sprinting early to open up a two-length lead on Forrest Camp who runs in second. Chief Seattle down inside races in third. Captain Steve is fourth. And Millen Collin fifth in between horses. Then it's high yield who rides the rails in sixth position. Hugh Hefner, three wide round the first turn. He's moving up from seventh. Kiss a native asks for a bit more run. He's eighth and in between horses now. Then Graham Hall, who's together with Dixie Union. Those two about eight lengths from the lead. Brahms was very wide going into the first turn. Now running 11th on the outside. Then Mull of Kintyre, followed by Charlie's Bow. Late starting a niece is the last of them all. A testing opening half mile, 46 seconds flat. Forest Camp has taken over the lead, and Forest Camp takes the field into the far turn, pulling away. And he's pulling away impressively. Forrest Camp by two and a half lengths now. Chief Seattle to the attack. Now running second. Personal first, the early leader has dropped back to third. High yield is gathering momentum from fourth. Mole of Kintyre is also rallying, moving in the fifth. Then farther back, it's Kiss a native. Dixie Union on the outside. And Anise, who's about eight lengths behind as the field turns for home. And here comes High Yield roaring up the outside, along with Chief Seattle. Forrest Camp grudgingly gives way third. Mull of Kintyre is fourth, and Anise is rocketing down the center of the track. Here comes Anise, and he's going to blow by them all. He passed 13 horses to win the Breeders' Cup Juvenile.